Hey everybody, welcome back to Orthonogs. Let's talk about the radiocarpal joint, the osteokinematic and arthrokinematic motions that occur at this articulation. So, of course, radiocarpal is the articulation between this concave uh, distal aspect of the radius and this proximal carpal row, primarily the scaphoid and the lunate. So, uh, this is a synovial joint. It is a condyloid synovial joint to more, be more specific. So, there are two degrees of freedom. The wrist or the radiocarpal joint primarily moves in the sagittal plane as well as the coronal or frontal plane. This is a convex on concave roll glide. Um, so uh, in other words, the roll and glide are gonna be opposite. So as we move into radiocarpal flexion or wrist flexion, that's gonna be the anterior roll and a posterior glide. As we move into extension, that's a posterior roll and an anterior glide. With radial deviation, that will be a radial or lateral roll and a medial or ulnar glide. And with ulnar deviation of the wrist, that is an ulnar or uh, medial roll combined with a radial or lateral glide.